Ahoy there. Welcome to the wrong side of the boat. Thanks for joining me. Just wanted to do a quick video about putting these new Tip Top Audio Mantis brackets on my Behringer Eurorack Go case. Uh, I got, I have two of these Behringer cases because let's face it, they're affordable. And I got a pair of brackets so that I can mount these together. And I just wanted to take a quick minute and show you how well this fits um, and that it does in fact work. Um, yeah, it came with a box of tools and I've got longer screws that are the same uh, threading and width as the screws that came in the Behringer Eurorack Go case. It also has some washers and I'm not entirely sure where those go as it also came with no instructions. So I'm making it up as I go and you know that'll have to work. So I am, I've already put one set on so I'm only going to show you this side, but I am um, setting my parts out. I already have modules in here. The racks didn't seem to move on the first one because um, you're technically unscrewing the rails that the modules screw into. And so I was worried that these were gonna flop all around, but after I unscrewed one, I'm, I suppose it's because the uh, modules are in place holding it on. Maybe they're clipped in there somehow uh, that I'm not seeing or not aware of but it uh, it didn't move as much as I thought it might, which was a nice surprise. So I'm unscrewing the original screws, and with this last one, I will show you what we're working with here. I haven't measured these. I don't know what kind of screws these are, um, but the screws that were in here originally is that one. And the screws that came with the tip top mantis brackets are a little longer so just wanted to point that out and that is actually to accommodate the metal and the washer i believe so i'm going to take this bracket it's got a little foot uh, i am personally putting that on the inside again there's no instruction so i don't know if that's how it's supposed to go but that'll take up less room and it'll let me put future racks right next to this so i think that's the way i'm going to go and i am going to put the screw in i'm going to put the washer on the back and i'm going to do that for the other two screws that this will work with and that washer does a nice job of holding on to that screw so it's not going to fall back out And then I'm just gonna screw this back in. These screws line up nicely. And I am just gonna screw this back in. I'm gonna kinda go a little bit at a time, just so I don't risk stripping or bending anything. I'm using this drill on the lowest setting, so I'm not risking damaging or over tightening anything because that's also something I'd be concerned about because modules are expensive and this is not a cheap investment. I have spent way more on this than I probably should have. And now all I ask is for a nice case. And since Behringer doesn't seem to have released their brackets at this point. Uh, I'm going with tip top. So that uh, is a little bit higher, but they did send, it's a little off the ground. I don't know if you can see it from this angle. It's a little bit off the ground, but in the case, there are these two foam strips. So once I get the other verticals mounted, I will put the foam strips on before I put it back in place. And hopefully, that'll level it out but my bigger concern is more that it holds to and it doesn't fall over so i will work on getting the other part racked up and i will show you the vertical and when we're all finished in just a few minutes 
I ran into a little issue or two or three, but yeah, let me tell you about it. So first I realized that when I put the bottom brackets on, I put them on this unit and I actually wanted this unit to be the bottom uh, because this unit has the sequencer with touch controls and uh, some other units that require a lot more interaction. So I put this unit on the bottom um, and then I discovered that not all of the holes line up on this thing. So what we've got going here is I have skipped the upper hole on what will be the lower Eurorecco case uh, because five of the six will fit. And I've done the same thing on the other side that I've already got completed, but I just wanted to show you that as a issue I ran into. I did, just as I did on the other side, I did do the washers between the case and the brackets. And I have put the foam foot. So as you can see now, the leg fits a lot closer than it did before. Uh, it does still rock a little bit. It, it also doesn't help that I've got this on an unstable surface, but it uh, it is more stable than it was, and it doesn't bother me in the least. Maybe it'll bother some of you that it looks like the front uh, of my case might come up a little bit, and maybe I'll slide a book under the back leg or something, but it does seem to work okay. And all I'm asking is that my cases stay together and are relatively stable. So it looks like it's going to stay together. It looks like it's going to be okay. And it looks like my case needs some more modules. So if you have suggestions of what modules I should get, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a great afternoon and thank you for joining me on the wrong side of the boat.